All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakodash. We'd also like to give double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone that do group well. We'd like to say peace and salutations to the Lord's elect, the hopeful elect and the one third. And Lord's will, this lesson will be edifying as well as exhorting to the sincere sheep of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakodash. And we'd also like to say Thawada, Thawada, Thawada. Abanawa Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rachakwadash for giving us the inspiration to do this lesson. And as the title reads, this is bigger than just the N-word. All right. And um pretty much we want to go into a lesson pertaining to uh, you know the so-called black and brown man's gripe, which we understand and we get it. But um us as so-called black and brown people now being awoken to who we are of our biblical nationality being uh, Hebrew Israelites from our respective tribes and also now being able to understand prophecy and the uh, severity of that message of prophecy and what's getting ready to take place in the very near future we understand that now there's more wickedness and unrighteousness than just the n-word you know just reparations just equal rights you know things of that nature and you see um, our people in their Gentile mindset where their main focus or uh, gripe is just uh, the N-word or, you know, uh, getting a leg up in this wicked society. OK, so we're going to just go into some few precepts and uh, I don't be edifying. I have the brother Karantaza here with me. Show on. And um, uh, do you have any opening precepts? I got the one about destroying the earth. OK, yeah, let's start with that. Let's matter of fact, let's start with second Ezra 15. And uh, 14, and then we can go into that. Because oh, yeah. we, when we read in particular precepts of prophecy, we also need to understand why it's making these statements, you know? Right. So uh, 2 Ezra is, uh, 15 and 14, you want to read in the KJV? All right. <clears throat> this is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and verse 14. Yep. It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. So right here, right off the bat, um, in the book of 2 Ezra, immediately it tells us, woe to the world. Now, when you go into the scriptures, uh, in, in particular, the New Testament, there are three definitions of the word world. OK, you have cosmos, which means a, har a harmonious arrangement or i.e. a government, which also proves Isaiah nine and six, where Yahweh Shai put the government on his shoulders. Then you have uh, oinkamene, which means the literal entire world. And then you also have eon. OK, eon, which means an age. All right. But woe to this age. Woe to this heathen rulership that's in power right now. All right? Keep going. Oh, excuse me, Slaki. And it says, verse 15, for the sword and the destruction draw of nigh. Right. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. So right here, there's a prophecy that, hey, anybody on planet Earth, you know, anybody that's here on Earth, judgment's coming. That's right. Okay? Now, we know in prophecy, it says Jacob's trouble but Jacob's trouble leads to heathen trouble, all right? The slain of the Lord shall be many. So we're entering a time where, hey, Jake ain't even going to care about being called a nigga. I'll be a nigga if you could feed me, Yep. okay? If, if As the ship's sinking, you think Jake is going to have a spirit to say, no, white man, I won't get on that life-saving raft with you. No. So Jake right now has got a spirit on him where they're, 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 they're crying about a minimal argument, but in the same breath, they call themselves niggas. Right, yeah. Right? Yeah. And Esau uses this same uh, rhetoric against you. And then he gave you an outlet for niggas, and now he calls you black and says, your lives matter. And now you take that and think that is going to change your position, but you've yet to even change your mind and thought process of, of, of your day-to-day -day activities. Right. You know? There's bigger issues than the N-word. Have you looked into your water system lately? Go watch the movie Aaron Brockovich. You know, I'm just making a statement, but let's keep going. A verse, uh, second Edges 15 and verse 15 and, uh, says, For the sword and the destruction draw of nigh. So people that dwell in the world, there's destruction that's drawn nigh to them. This is why in 2024, when all you have to prop up as a Jake, a Gentile mindset, Jake, and hey, we're gonna we're gonna go to Congress and we're gonna we're gonna put black as a you know what mm. I mean? Like Jake don't know what's going on. Yeah, Jake is actually distracted by racial disparity, 
And the problem with that is because someone could get on here and say, well, yeah, that, yeah, that may be an issue. But what happens to the world in a, in a broad sense once you get the right to live in the suburbs too? When you get equality, what is that doing for the world? Is that changing the, the rainforest? Is that, is that changing the ecosystem? Is that fixing the planet that's dwindling in despair because of the powers that be? Is that helping the children out of the cages and islands? Is that going to change Hollywood? Is, is, if, if Esau stops calling you a nigga, does that mean the so-called black woman is going to start respecting herself? Hell you man. act like when you're called a nigga or nigger, you think that that's just going to wipe away all your other shortcomings as the end is coming near. You know? Back in 2nd Edges 15 and verse 15, it says, And one people shall stand up and fight against another. So we got civil unrest coming. That's While right. Jake is saying uh, uh, reparations, black fist up. They're gonna kick. They're gonna boot your black ass to the side, and military's gonna step in. Yep. Jake is not ready to face the reality of where this country and its economy and social system is going. Okay, Jake is not ready for the real norm that is getting ready to take place. We're entering a time of if you are not adequate in the means of survival, being self-efficient. Of course, the Lord's got to be with you. But even on a small scale, when it comes about the pincher, yeah. he, ga he gathers. Even on a scale like that, Jake ain't ready for the power to go out. You know, you, Jake ain't crying about having their own water supply. Yeah. Or, or gathering together and fleeing America in a hole. Jake is not putting together a government, their own financial and banking system. And you know when you had that pre-segregation, right? Pre being before. Mm -hmm. Pre-segregation. They had that. And then once post-segregation came, you didn't have your own economy, you didn't have your own education, you didn't have your own churches, you were now integrated and you got the ability to be equal, which then made you like your enemy, but your enemy still calls you a nigga, so now the only thing you fight for is, hey, yep. don't call, or no, what the, what the famous word is, say it again. Yeah, say it again, he, he just said it. He don't even need to say it. He treats you like a nigga. Yeah. And now you treat yourself like a nigga. And we're literally living in the end of an age. This empire is going down. With the empire of Babylon going down, niggadom is going down too, okay? The sagging pants, the do-rag, the twerking, the tongue out, the black and mild, that, that whole culture that you've cultivated your mind around for growth, it's getting ready to be burned That's up. They right. actually call it slash and ash. Okay, you got some, brother? Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah 2 and verse 21 in the KJV. It says, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. Uh -huh. How then are thou uh, turned into the degenerate plant of right. a... So I get, no, you got it. it says, uh, uh, um, how then are there turned into the degenerate plant mm. of a strange vine unto me? Mm. Right. You know, because Jake, you know, because, you know, we were meant to be righteous, you know, because as a whole, you know, Jake is supposed to be a righteous people it says that we were, we were, we made to be kings and priests, mm -hmm. but down the line, you know, you know, through the curses and through, you know, uh, everything that happened to Jake, you know, Jake just said, you know, F it. You know, and, and he, he just went rogue, you know, and, and he's got a weak argument. Yeah. You know, when you look at, at the problems of today, Jake has a weak argument when it comes to social uh, uh, issues. Yeah. You know, and, and we're just using this as a broad spectrum and we can all admit it. The most the things that Jake is still holding on to is is his ra uh, racial despair. The race card, the race, card. Yeah. you yep. know, the black card. Um, look, degenerate means having lost the physical, mental, or moral qualities. Oh, wow. So Jake now being a degenerate, they have lost the ability to have a kingdom-like mindset or to be what? A humanitarian. Yep. Okay? They, ha they have lost the aspect of how to uh, take care of the earth. And since I said that, let's go to Revelations 11 and 18. Gotcha. Because see, that's what the prophets are doing. The prophets are telling you more problems than just white and black arguments. This is bigger than that. Even though the main ingredients of the end is who? Jacob and Esau. But with Jacob and Esau, you don't understand. He's not coming after you because he calls you a nigger. He's coming after you because you have the firstborn right as the heir of Jacob. And you possess the promise that was given to Abraham, then bestowed to Isaac, and then laid upon the seed of that being Jacob and his 12 sons. Okay? 
You got that? Yep. This is Revelation 11 and verse 18. It says, uh, and the nations were angry. And why are they angry? Because they're drunk off the wine of Babylon. So while you are upset about being called the N-word, you have super power nations that are upset, uh, upset about the sanctions. They're upset about the uh, uh, the dominance of the dollar. Mm -hmm. They're they're upset about your pro the Babylon's prying and putting himself in everybody's business. I just watched the movie The Sum of All Fears last night with Morgan yeah. Freeman and uh, uh, Ben Batman Affleck. And in the movie, who they portrayed as the uh, the president for Magog, when B the Babylonian president told him, uh, blah blah blah, uh, you you shouldn't be doing this to Chesnia. I said, well, one, that's like Russia and Ukraine right now, yep. which they showed you in the movies. And then the president replied back. He said, don't you tell me about what I'm doing in Chesnia. Well, you the one that dropped it on Nagasaki. Yeah. You the one that dropped it on Hiroshima. Yep. He said, you and you sticking your nose in my business. It's like trying to sleep with my wife mm -hmm. and live under the same house. And the problem is you're now dealing with an angry husband that's got a gun. Yep. That's what Russia said yeah. in the movie. So that's what we're telling you. So as, that's what I look at Jake and they talk about uh, reparation. Like, let me show you. Look at this. Like, like, oh, I need that. We're going to get into that real quick. We're going to get that. But look at this. Um, uh, March for reparations. This, this is so weak. You know, let me see. Look, March 29th. Look, 36 minutes ago. All right, okay, that might not be it. Oh, uh, where was that? It said uh, D.C. right there. The march on Washington was a case for reparations. And you got this one Jake right now. Let me put this in. I see this one Jake, which he's amongst the uh, many, or uh, uh, I think it's Singleton. Let me see. Uh, yeah, uh, Rashad Singleton, National Reparations League. He yeah. actually has a National Repar Reparation League. See, look, May 14th, mm -hmm. national leaders descend on nation's capital for what? For what? For what, Jake? The dollar is about to be dwindled. Look, black and red, roll sugar. You know, oh, so yep. we look at these things. But this is this is what you this is what Jake gets. See, this is that N word spirit. This is N word spirit. Okay, as you go online and cry about how you want uh, the forty acres and a mule, do you know prophecy tells you that this dollar is going to be digitalized and then you are going to be forced a mark to continue to buy and sell the products that your right. slave master gives you. So in one breath, you're mad at the N-word, but in another, you still live in Babylon. Yep. Okay? But this place that you're living in is prophesied to be destroyed. And in Jacob's trouble, the N-word is going to be the least of your problems. Wouldn't you agree? I would highly agree. So we have to use this. Look, this thing is bigger than a nigga. This is bigger than Nino Brown. This is big business. There is a new world order that is being established right before your eyes, and it's already in swing. Oh, yeah. The order of a new world is already taking place, and this is the Babylonian way. <laughs> Got a quick one. Yeah. This is uh, Hebrews 13 and verse 14 in the NLT. Hebrews 13 and verse 14, it says, for this world is not our permanent home. Exactly, but Jake treats Babylon like that. Right. And then they argue against Babylon to give them a sense of comfortability. But what you don't know is Babylon is bound to be destroyed. That's right. You know? And it goes on to say, we are looking forward to a home yet to come. But what's Jake looking for? A uh, Four acres in the mule. He's looking, yeah, he's looking to be the president. Yep. He's looking to get a black woman in like, office. Like the one Jake came to camp and gave us his card. Yep. He's running for mayor. Yep. You know? What's that going to do? When I get into office, I'm going to make the N-word a national hate <laughs> cry. I am going... Bro, it's over. It's done. Jake, the argument that Jake has in 2024 is not on a, an, on a worldwide scale. We are speaking globally. We're speaking on a worldwide manner. Let's finish Revelations 11. Yes. And let's tell, tell you why. Back in Revelation 11 and verse 18... And the nations were angry. Because of the wine of Babylon, which Jake is drunk off that too. Sagging, bragging, and shooting them up and toe-tagging. Yeah. Right? And thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. So there are men out here that are serving Yahweh Shai in so much in a manner that they're telling you something that was declared from the beginning before it happens. Okay? Before it happens, it's, it's being told to you. But our people are still so lost and low that they're just now reaching sovereignty. Yep. They're just finding out about uh, 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 Seymour. Like, you know, which, yeah. which shout out to that. Yeah. I'm not knocking you, but we have to understand that there is something bigger. Yeah. 
the nigga, man. It really is. There's something major about to happen. Mass death is coming. Uh, mass lockdowns, okay? And Jake is caught up in this Jerry Springer uh, uh, spirit. Yeah. You know, this drama spirit. You see? Yeah. This BLM spirit. And it goes on to say, uh, and to the saints and them that fear thy name. Well, see, that's another thing. While you're crying about what uh, name Esau has given you, and you embrace that name, we're out enduring afflictions and all things for the elect say in the name of Yahweh Bashim El Shai and telling you. But then Jake will sit here in one breath and he'll say, um, uh, you know, man, we got to come together. But then they'll still call us niggas. Yep. I'll actually try to say, well, I'm not a nigga. Yeah. But that, but, but you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Jake is hypocrite. They're so low that their doctrine has, has holes in it. So they become hypocritical with the crutch that they're standing upon. This is why you got to leave Jake alone because they don't have, they don't possess a kingdom uh, mentality, okay? They have remnants of the wine of Babylon. They have their single mother's attitude yep. and they apply that on a political scale and it makes them look bad, okay? Our people as a, what do you say? As a unit, we look bad, Yeah. Yep. okay? So you have to let it be known. Okay, I'm saying in a statement sense, it has to be known there are bigger issues than just the N-word. Truly. All right? Look at our food. Like Before we keep going to 18, Ezekiel 4 and 13, look at even the aspect of just our food. Okay? Uh, Ezekiel 4 and 13, and the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. The first thing I think about is Cheetos, soda, no noodles, you know, high sodium diet. Even our water. Even are down to our what? But is Jake crying about that? Hell no. Now, even if they are, because our people are intelligent, but ultimately, if the Lord's not dealing with them, it's not going to be something that will, uh, uh, it's going to be of men. Yeah. So it's going to come to naught. I know some healthy Jakes. I know some bugged out Jakes that know grounding and copper and, mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff. But as a mass scale, that's not the spirit that our people are in, okay? They're still riding around and getting it, all right? In the same breath, they don't want you to call them a nigga. But they'll act like a nigga while rapping, uh, using the word nigga. But then when it comes to Esau calling you what you are, that's racism. Mm -hmm. You got to get over that race card, man. There's bigger issues than, than racism, okay? And it says, uh, eat our defiled, they uh, eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. And this is why you see our people in the physical shape that they're in, okay? Yeah. And, and then the continuance of this generation needs to end, all right? The even are two thirds got to be cut off to cut off this black culture that your master has given you that you've now mastered in your own small collective communities and have taken it on as yourself. And then you get offended if somebody else uh, uh, infringes or uses it, too. Yeah. You know, you can wear, you can have blonde weed, but she can't have braids. I'm just saying someone needs to sit here and, and, and tell the creature to sit the sit down. Let the prophets sigh and cry. Right. Because right. we're, matter of fact, let's go to Ezekiel 9. We're the ones that are sighing and crying about the correct things. You're not, Jake ain't sighing and crying about the adultery, about the gang life, about the child support, about the, the, the ill-gotten gang that we just continue and continue to receive. And even about, you know, uh, babies being turned opposite of what they are. Thank you. You know? They're not upset about that. I got that. This is Ezekiel 9 and verse 4. KJV? Yeah. It says... And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads. Okay, for what? Of the men that sign that cry. So you can sign and cry. No justice, no peace, right? Mm -hmm. You can say, I feel disfranchised. We're not saying the system ain't set up against you, but what you don't know is the system that you're fighting to try to get a, a leg up in. This system is about to restart. And to get a leg up in that system, there's going to be a digital collar that's yep. required from Massa. And he don't got to call you a nigga. He'll treat you like one. Yeah. And it says, upon the foreheads of the men that sign and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Mm, the Strong's is uh, 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 8441. Oh, wow. So, and that's, that's spiritual. Uh, look, uh, and for the abomination... It means a distinct, a disgusting thing. So why is Jake not 
uh, boycotting World Star. Right. Remember that spirit back then? They used to boycott like the buses. Yeah. Boycott this. Yeah. Walk out. Yep. Sit in. Thank you. Sit. Yep. You know, like that old uh, civil rights spirit. Going on strike. Yeah. Shit like that. They're not doing that now. Mm-hmm. Why are they not boycotting World Star? Why are they not boycotting Cardi B? Why are they not boycotting Ice Spice? Right. You see? Why are they not crying about drill music? You know, there's real things even on their ground level that they could say, hey, we don't want no more. But they're not doing that. All right. Look, ritual sense. You see, uh, uh, they, they should be against Chief Keef. Yeah. They should be against the rap music. You yeah, know, got, uh, but are they? Nope. No. I ain't got the precepts for you. Because this is big business. That's right. It's bigger than Nino Brown. Yep. What you bigger got? than the N-word. Yep. This is Jeremiah 4 and verse 22. KJV says, for my people is foolish. Yep. They have not known me. They're so foolish that they're not even taking into consideration that the country that they are in is getting ready to be wiped off the map with them in it. Yep. And you're fighting to have a stake in it. You know? And it says they are saddest children. It's 2024. Don't you think it's time to try something new? Maybe it's time to try something new. This ain't working. Reparations ain't working. And Esau gonna give you reparations by the mark. That's right. Okay? You want reparations? I'll give it to you. 40 gigabytes in a hard drive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it says, and they have none understanding. And, and this is ultimately why they, they carry themselves in that manner. You know? They are wise to do evil. Yep, they can do evil with no problem. But to do good, they have no knowledge. See? This is why ultimately uh, they haven't been set up to receive the word from the prophets. They haven't been set up to, to be healed from the gospel. Because there's more things that we need to be healed from than just racism. Right. You know? Like I say, if I, I could walk down the street and I could hear an Edomite yelling out nigger, what's that mean? Now I got to put on my fucking super save a nigga cape? <laughs> right. Now who said that? Let's go to house to house to find out <laughs> who made that statement. Right. Which nigga, would, uh, if the shoe fit, why are you wearing it? You yeah, see? Yeah. If you don't look at yourself like a nigga, then, then why do you jump up when you hear someone say it? Like, remember we was watching a Sakari camp and the one dude who looked like a heathen, he said nigga. Oh, yeah, And the yeah. fucking effeminate Jake lost his mind. He's gonna, yeah. He's, he pulled, he had a gun in his back yeah. pocket. The fuck you mad for? And what, you as a Hebrew is like, what you mad for if somebody call you a nigga? You know you're not a nigga. And even in that, when you go into the word nigga, the origin, what it goes into. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. The color black. So see, Jake has a weak ass argument there. They don't know nothing, man. You know, right. they're going to be highly surprised. You know, they're not good. They're, so why can't I get no food? Because you ain't got the mark, nigga. You know, it ain't because you black. That's what Jay, is it because I'm black? <laughs> I got a quick one. Yeah. This Hosea 4 and 6 in the uh, the GNT. It said, uh, I'll wait till you get there. Yeah, Hosea 4 and 6, it says, my people are doomed mm. because they do not acknowledge me. Mm. You priest, right, but they acknowledge Esau. Yep. You no, know, they acknowledge, you know, uh, Babylon. And you they know? acknowledge Esau's offense directed at him. Yeah. But they're not upset at what the powers that be are doing to their children, you know, or, or the world. We're still in Revelations. They're not upset about that. They're not upset about animals beaching themselves, animals going extinct, you know, like real life issues yeah. that are that are problems upon the earth. Jake doesn't have energy for that. They, they, two thirds are, are selfish. Very They're selfish. actually selfish when you actually when you look into it, man. They are. Uh, back in Hosea four and six in the GNT, it says my people are doomed because they do not acknowledge me. Because all they do is sit there and fight because he called you the N word. You know. Say it again. Yeah. It says you priest. But you on World Star uh, with a song that goes viral called Nigga Nigga Nigga. Yeah. Right. It says you priest. That's why you gotta leave Jake alone. Yeah. 2024, leave Jake alone. Leave their ass alone. Let them be. Okay? Let them be. Let them cry and, and squabble in the street with a poor Edomite as, as the, the higher echelon of Esau is about to come down on both of you. Okay? Because uh, Esau ain't going to discriminate in Jacob's trouble. The New World Order ain't going to discriminate. A- average Edomite Joe six-pack drinking, they going to get it too. Yep. They're going to treat them like a nigga. That's why Esau was using the civil rights when uh, they told people to su- subscribe to the vid. What they use? They use civil rights. They, this is this is discrimination. So Esau even uses uh, the rights that was given to you in the 60s. He used that in 2020. Yeah. You know? And he right. didn't use that for you. He used it for himself. 
And it says, you priests have refused to acknowledge me and have rejected my teaching. And so I reject you and will not acknowledge your uh, your sons as my priests. Mm. Which what we are all as men, Israelite men, we're all kings and priests. But now the Lord, uh, through his will, has only set it up for what? Uh, the Israel of Yahweh, right. which is, makes us the um, uh, the hopeful elect. We're hoping to be of that number while witnessing uh, the spirit not dealing with uh, portions of the Israelite men surrounded around us. You know, uh, let's finish Revelations 11, get a couple more. That's just a lesson. All right. you know, this thing ain't too deep. You know what I mean? We, my man said it. This bigger than Nino Brown. This bigger than being called a nigga. My nigga. You know what I mean? We have right. fun with it. But for real, for you brothers out there and you few sisters, you understand this bigger than being called a bitch. It really is. It's bigger than just a byword. This is bigger than just a byword. Do you know what's coming down the bike? What's getting ready to take place? You know? Back in Revelation verse uh, uh, 11 and verse 18, it says, And them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. You see that? So there's judgment coming because there's a, in particular, people in a position of power that are actually destroying the earth that we are upon right now. And you in this small little ghetto in New Jersey, you know, or New York in some borough and marching down the street saying no justice, no peace because uh, uh, what another nigga got shot. You're not in the right mind frame. Mm -hmm. You are being distracted by an emotion of distress of a continuance judgment that's been upon us since the conception of Babylon. There's more to be upset about. We're not saying that it's right or he's going to get a pass. It says he that leads the captivity shall go into captivity. But there's more things that need to be addressed as we grow closer to the end. And it ain't just the end word. That's right. You know, it ain't just fucking uh, 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 42 Doug and Cardi B. Right. There's real issues that are at hand that world leaders are addressing. And Jake is showing what he has an issue with. He is not in the mindset of a world leader. He is not ready to be used to govern the world. This is what Yahweh Bashmel Shai is doing to us. He's putting us through these uh, uh, purifying moments and purging before he gives us the world on a grand scale because the world was created for our sake. So we understand that now. And you should too. So uh, did we finish 2nd Ezra 15? Uh, nope, I still got it. Okay. Back in Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse uh, uh, verse fifteen. Again? Yeah, perfect. And it says, uh, "For the sword and the." Just don't even know the, the 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 rights he has as a citizen in Babylon. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like the the actual now do some yeah, but for the most part you know they don't. It's uh, Second Ezra fifteen and fifteen. For the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, mm. and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. So while you are going to the princes and the kings, you have portions of people in Babylon that are not going to regard them and they're going to leave uh, uh, the law in their own hands. Yeah. So you could go to a prince and go to a king and have them sign something in the law and then boom, Jacob's trouble happens. Now that law don't even matter Yeah. because now they suspended it according to their powers of their articles and their sections and their clauses. And now they just declared a warlike law. And now you as this free man now got to lock in with everybody else. Yep. You're late to the party, Jake. Your priorities aren't together. What you're upset about, there's more things to be upset about than, than racial despair, you know? And it says that they should not regard their, their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Oh, that's segregation right there. Yeah, right. See that? So you're going to have people that ain't going to be able to go into a city. Not just because they're a nigga. See? And it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The cities are going to be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Keep going. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword. Modern day gun. And spoil their goods. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So there's about to be a lack of bread. There's about to be a scarcity. Oh, damn right it is. There's about to be a scarcity out here, man. Prophecy is going to be the greatest eye opener to what you should be prioritizing uh, your time in. 
So that's a distraction. Racial uh, despair, racial rights. Mm -hmm. That's Esau is stringing you along to keep you distracted before he closes in on you. That's what he's doing. It's a snake coiling its prey right now. No justice, no peace. B -A -L -A -A. Right? That's yeah. all what he's got you doing. And then, bam, That's right. everybody's locked down. Jake ain't ready, man. Jake is not ready mentally, nor spiritually, nor physically for Jacob's trouble, you know, for the most part. Was that it, brother? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Um, I believe that was all I got, too. I got a quick one. Okay. You got anything? You want to close it off? Uh, yes. Okay. This uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 6 and verse 9 in the uh, the GNT. Actually, mm. I'm going to get in the, K the NOT because okay. I know you have it on the, um, the website right here. Six, right? Yeah, Isaiah 6 and verse 9 okay. in the, uh, the NOT. Let me search it real quick. And it says, um, it says, and he said. And we get it, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we get it. We get where Jake's coming from. But ultimately, it just shows you. If, uh, if you are, are spending your free time listening to so-called black, brown people gripe and grope about their uh, social lows and their not uh, equalness and all that, you got to get away from that mindset, man. Yeah. That's a low life, loser, lost thought process, okay? Because one, we're higher than these people, so we can't have equality because equality means likeness, which makes you equal. Right. We're not equal. We're above you. And secondly, we do not want any of your dollars uh, system because that will be a slap in our face to give us an X amount of dollars. Real reparation means to repair. Right. That will not repair us. What do you say? I'm rich, bitch. Yeah. Buying out new ports and Timberlands. Now a nigga gets in the stock and he's only thing he's buying is Timberlands and do-rags. You know what I mean? Like uh, pork belly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. bro, you got you got to let black culture uh, mindset go. Okay. So-called black and brown people do not possess the ability of what's going to fix us because the only one who does is Yahweh Bashmel Shai, and that will be through the aspect of prophecy, okay? This is uh, Isaiah 6 and 9 in the NLT. It says, uh, and he said, yes, go and say to this people, listen carefully, but do not understand. Watch closely, but learn nothing. Yeah, we've, we've had Jake's come by camp. And they're expressing to us how they're free, yeah, um, financially, financially free. free, but they're still using his dollar. They still register a vehicle, but it may not be in their name. You know, <laughs> you still got a social. You can't leave Babylon without a passport. So Jake is lost in the sauce of Babylon. So Esau is so cunning that he's even given you a platform where he can say you're free and you still ain't free. Deception. You've what did Jake Cole say? Uh, all, all you want to do, do is be, be free. free. You ain't free, bro. You're not free. You ain't you ain't free until the Lord sets us free. This is why we're free spiritually. That's right. You just got to deal with it. You have to accept you're in captivity, and you have to accept and wait on the Lord. But Jake don't want to do that. And it says, verse 10, it says, Harden the hearts of these people, plug their ears, and shut their eyes. That way they will not see with their eyes, nor hear with their ears, nor understand with their hearts. And turn to me for healing. Mm, see, that healing comes from the Lord. It don't it don't come from Babylon. That's right. It don't come from money. It don't it don't come from the, the Esau's reparations. It don't come from him stop calling you the N-word. If Esau stopped collect which they, you know, they don't showcase it as much. But if Esau stopped calling Jacob N word, that, that's not gonna stop the curses. Oh no. That's not gonna stop World Star. That ain't gonna stop the, the so called black woman doing what she do. Right. And the so called black and brown man doing what they do. That ain't gonna stop it. Because you have a system that's so deep rooted that that's become a part of uh, Jake's uh, uh, culture. Yeah. yeah, there's 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 a system that's at play that is is destroying you more than the N word. Verse eleven, it says, "Then I said, Lord, how long will this go on?" And he replied, "Until their towns are empty, mm. their houses are deserted, and the whole country is a wasteland." Wow. Until the Lord has sent everyone away and the entire land of Israel lies deserted. So until destruction. That's right. Until de complete, utter destruction. Until everything's destroyed. Okay. The, the, all the avenues that uh, Jake has been given to be that byword has to be destroyed to stop that byword and them from calling you that byword. Is this, uh, uh, th they've been made dross. Right. You know, but this is what. We are dealing with in this moment of time where we're waiting for prophecy to play out. So you have to understand the only way out is through prophecy. The only way out is up. It's not from money. 
It's not from making the N-word illegal, you know? It's not from, uh, and, and, and this whole woke shit, that's showing you right there. Yeah. You know? But you got anything else, bro? No, that was it. Okay. Thing. I'm good. So, you know, we just want to do that quick lesson. You know, we pray that uh, it was edifying, encouraging, enlightening, and comforting to the sincere sheep. And we just want to say, call Allah. Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kakodash. You know, oh, what's it say? Put off the mortal thoughts. There's greater evil to come. Yeah. yeah. There's greater evil coming than the N-word. Yeah. My nigga. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, hey, with that being said, double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect. Uh, with that being said, shalom. shalom.